Hi, today I have prepared a video about X or sex determination system and today I'm going to explain how it is different from XY sex determination system and also I want to explain if it is the same or not with uh, haplodiploidy system of sex determination. So today's problem is or today's question is in an animal with the X or method of sex determination which is uh, of the following could be the normal number of chromosomes in its somatic cells. And first of all, I want to use example of the human karyotype in order to explain uh, today's problem. So here is uh, 23 pairs of chromosomes. And of course, looking at this karyotype, you can uh, tell if it is uh, of the male or female because of these two uh, chromosomes. As you see, here we have X and Y chromosomes and that means that this is going to be a male. So first of all, uh, let me show you how we can find uh, sex ratios in humans and then we can return to our question. So for example, when we have a male, a male uh, genotype would be X and Y and when we cross with female and female's uh, genotype would be XX the outcome of such a cross would be uh, XX here so female XY here male XX here and X, Y here. So as you see, 50% of the progeny would be females and another 50% would be males. So uh, this is how sex determined uh, in humans. And now let's take a look how sex determination works in the X or uh, system and actually what X or means or here stands for the absence of the chromosome uh, we can say also X0 and we can notate it as uh, X or or X and empty space so I would use uh, the second notation so you would uh, better understand it visually. So uh, males in this system would miss one chromosome. And uh, that means that males would be X and empty space. And females would be X, X. So when we cross uh, female with male, the outcome of such cross would be female here and male here, female here and male here. So males also would miss one chromosome. And when we have two chromosomes, that means that this is going to be a female, just uh, the same genotype as we have here. And this is going to be a male. And also we can use X or instead of empty space here. So this also can be X zero. So now you understand that uh, in such a system, males uh, uh, genome would have an odd number of chromosomes, just like you see here. So uh, among all the answers, the correct answer would be answer D uh, when male would have uh, 13 chromosomes. So 13 we cannot divide by 2 and uh, females would have even number of chromosomes. So for example uh, answer A where we have 26 uh, chromosomes that is uh, even number we cannot have in X or sex determination system 26 chromosomes because this is even number and this 
can be a number of chromosomes in females. And here we have odd number of chromosomes and we told that this is females, but odd number uh, can be only in uh, males. And here we once again have odd number in females and this is something we cannot divide by two. So uh, 33 chromosomes uh, can be in males but not in females. And this is uh, the only correct answer here. And now I want to explain you also the difference between uh, sex determination um, in X or uh, system and haplodiploidy. And haplodiploidy sex determination system we can find in bees, for example. What does it mean that all fertilized eggs uh, would develop as females and all unfertilized eggs would develop as males? So uh, actually that means that um, those eggs uh, that would be laid by the queen and wouldn't be fertilized would be haploid because they didn't get a second set of chromosomes from their father and such uh, eggs would uh, develop uh, into males and those who were fertilized would have uh, two sets of chromosomes and would develop as females. So uh, this is the main difference and the number of the chromosomes in uh, males would be the half number of chromosomes in females. So, uh, but in uh, sex determination system that is XO, we have all the somatic uh, chromosomes would be the same number, would be would go in sets of two and only uh, sex chromosome uh, would be missed in males and uh, two X chromosome or sex chromosome would be present in females. So this is the main difference. As I said earlier, this sex determination system haplodiploidy we can find in bees and wasps and some other insects and uh, X or sex determination system we can find in such insects, for example, like uh, cockroaches. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.